Oklahoma City is looking to revitalize high crime and poverty stricken neighborhoods. A $500,000 federal grant will fund the creation of a plan to do that. News 9's Deanne Stein is live at Will Rogers Court, just southwest of downtown, with more on this plan. Deanne? That's right, Amanda. This is the oldest and largest public housing area in the city, and it's included in that plan. But despite the problems, the people who live here are very proud and willing to do their part. Victor McAllister hates trash. As soon as you pick up, they mess up. Especially when it litters the neighborhood where he has lived for 30 years. I'm kind of used to seeing all that trash, and it's just big messy, messy, messy. Every day? Mm -hmm. Every day. And for about four hours every day, this is where you'll find him, picking up and sweeping up the mess around Will Rogers' courts. It makes me feel good. I mean, it kind of keep my heart going, keep everything going for myself, you know. The work also helps supplement his rent here, where the poverty and crime rates are high. It's very scary. Uh, I don't really go outside very often. Crystal Kiesel has only lived here for one month. There's a lot of violence, stuff getting broken into and mm. stolen and yeah. tires getting slashed. She's hoping that will be addressed in the revitalization plan the City Housing Authority will create. Really, I feel like the only thing they really need to do is increase their security around here. The barrack-style housing was built in the 1930s and has had little done to it since then. I live right here and I haven't had an oven in my apartment since February of this year. Now, I am aware that they are highly understaffed, but also, I'm a single father with eight year old son and we do like to eat. <laughs> Despite the bad though, there's also the good. We, you know, tend to take care of each other's kids. We cook out all together and things like that. We try to make it as peaceful as possible. And for Victor, as clean as possible. Well, I tell you, you know, it can get frustrated, but I just kind of keep on working and go at it and ask God to help me pick it all up, keep it clean. He's very dedicated, isn't he? Now, once the plan is in place, the city will apply for more grants to implement it. Live in Oklahoma City, Dan Stein, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.